what's up you guys it's your girl queen i am back with another video shout out to my old and new subscribers shout out to my members and my moderators i love and i appreciate y'all shout out to all the people that has been purchasing the stuff off the baby stuff off my registry shout out to y'all um, like I've been saying, when everything, I got more stuff coming in every single week. So when everything comes in, you guys, I'm going to do um, a video, okay? Um, I'm going to do a video, and when I do the video, I'm going to be showing and thanking everyone that purchased something off the baby rescue because I really thank and I appreciate y'all excuse me for that okay so yes let's get into this video so first and foremost oh my god y'all got indigestion i ain't even ate yet but i will be warming up my breakfast when i'm done with this video i miss y'all i love y'all and thank y'all for being patient like i said um i'm almost at the end of my pregnancy and I'm getting more, I guess, a little bit tired, but I'm still making time like in the mornings to bring y'all some good content. Today, we're going to be talking about Jose, but like I said, um, there's some other things that I want to bring to you guys because we are true crime and we, we're going to, we're going to do some throwback crimes, um, because there's a lot of stuff cases that is not solved that we are working on okay um okay so let's get into it because i don't want to hold nobody up first and foremost let me say this okay let me say this let your girl say this when jose came out a couple of days ago well, yeah, about f this week, this past week. Y'all know how we do over here. We don't jump and run to con and jump to conclusions. We don't assume somebody come out, boom, make a video. Because we have to sit, I sit, I analyze, I think. I ask all the questions, the what, when, why, where, how, um, why. We do all of that, okay? We don't just, when someone comes out, boom. No, we don't do that because everything happens for a reason and you have to ask why this person came out, why now, um, what's the dynamics around the situation, what makes them different. So I ask all those questions, okay? So I have seen a couple of parts um but i'll be basically hitting on the first interview we're gonna discuss that and everything else like i said i kind of watched but it made it's basically other content creators like on the second one that was talking to him um and then the third one was a pre-recorded video of him showing his face and the third one <clears throat> i really didn't even get to i did watch chase and truth part because I was interested in what she was saying. Because she had some very good points. They were logical. And it was real. Um, so I watched her part on there. But most of the stuff he was saying in the, in the pre-recorded interview that showed his face. You guys. Jose is just sitting and watching different channels. And what he's doing is. He's sitting and watching these different channels. And he's bringing it. And he's trying to fit it into his story. And that's a bad move. Jose should have just did his first interview and let it be what it was. Where Jose messed up at is he's changing things. He's coming out. He's changing things. And that's a big no-no. That's a big mistake because now you're looking like you're lying. Um different times when you was there all of that is happening because you are trying to respond to different people 
And not only are you responding to different people, but you're changing up and you're trying to fit your experience with what other creators are saying, what other subscribers are saying, what other videos are saying their opinions. You can't do that. Your experience is your experience. You can't change your experience to what others think. Then that means your experience wasn't true. You cannot do that. So that's where Jose messed up to me. I messed up a lot of parts when it came to the second or third interview. It's because he's trying to watch everybody, see what they're saying, see what Don and Candace and everything's saying. He's trying to fit his experience. If he really, really experienced all this into what they're saying and you can't do that. It's just not going to work. You coming out is is telling your experience, what you've been through, what you've been through with these people, what you saw, describing Summer. All that is supposed to be by you, Jose. You, you, you. Okay? It's supposed to be you telling what you saw, what you experienced, how Summer was, your encounters with the children, your encounters with Candace, your encounters with Don, your encounters with Grandis. That is supposed to be all you. And then that's it. That's your truth. That's what you saw. And that's that. But you messed up adding and doing other things. That's where you messed up, Jose. And I'm here to tell you, that's why people are now turning on you. Now, when you first came out, you was the Messiah to those people. Not to me. But you was the Messiah. Even when you first came out, I'm like, okay, he pretty much telling us things we already knew by observing, by what the Wells have said, how we see them live. We already know a lot of those things that he said. Um, he did give us more insight on who Summer was. That was a good thing. And he told us, he confirmed, because we already knew she wasn't watching the kids. We knew Summer wandered off. Because Don had said it before that she would wander off and he would tell the boys to go back out there and get her and find her. So we knew Summer already had wandered off. He just confirmed what Don said of her being lost previous times before. Numerous times before. So he confirmed that. But pretty much everything we already knew. But let's go through it, okay? Let's go through what he said. So, and like I said, PSA to creators, can y'all please try to decrease the amount of live hours? Maybe like two hours, two and a half, five. Come on, y'all pushing it. That's a long time for your girl to try to sit and go through when I am a BCB. And it take a long time for me to sit through a five-hour video. Stop, play, stop, play, take notes, rewind. That's a lot, okay? All right, anyway. So, um, he said he went through a bad divorce, having a breakdown. And he came down. Um, and he stayed with the wheels, okay? Um, because the place he was staying at fell through. Okay. That's the reason why he said he came down. So, we the people would like to know, okay, did y'all not check on y'all way down to, to secure and make sure everything was set in stone with the place you were staying at? Did y'all not check? Um, like, what happened and where was y'all supposed to be staying at? And it said that Allie asked you to stay. Excuse me, y'all. With Candace. And Candace Place. It was said that Allie asked Candace, could you stay over there? So what is the real truth with that? Did Allie ask you, Jose, um, to stay at Candace Place? Or is it you had nowhere to go when the place fell through? And then how you had no place to go? Because I'm in Tennessee. 
And every time I went up there and I go up there to Kingsport, Rogersville, there's always hotels. So was it that you was broke? You didn't have no money to stay at a hotel? I mean, what was it? Because there had to be something. Did you not have no money to stay at a hotel? What's the real deal with that situation? Because there was other places you could stay. You didn't have to stay there. Um, especially once you walked in and seen the dynamic of the situation. And the only place you, the only reason why you wouldn't stay at a hotel is if you didn't have no money to pay for a hotel. So then you would have to stay somewhere that is less funded. Okay? So, um, I'm a little confused on that. So, maybe somebody can provide some clarity. Or maybe he just was broke because there was hotels available. Okay? There were hotels available. He could have stayed at some hotels if his place, the place they was at, fell through. Um, or, and or he could have stayed a little bit at the wells and then went and got a room. But it sounds like he didn't have no money. He was going through something where... He really couldn't afford to stay in a hotel in other places, and he ended up having to stay at the Wells house. All right, so I asked, I wrote down, what were you arrested for? In the second or third interview, I found out you was arrested for drugs, and that was, you said, 20 years ago? And then I wanted to know, why were... Because the first interview, and this is what I wrote my notes about, you stayed with the Wells for six months, so why did you stay so long? Um, and then you kept saying you was renting a room. So how much were you paying, Candace? And is that true? I'm asking because if you're renting a room, then you're paying for that room. And that was the kid's playroom. So you're paying for the... To stay in the room, right? But you really was just getting in. You didn't have a job yet. So how was you paying for that room? And were you really renting a room? Or did you stay there a little bit, got a little a part-time job, and then start paying? Because you said and you keep emphasizing that you rented the room. So if you was renting a room from Candace... How much were you paying, and how often were you paying, Candice? I'm just interested in wanting to know that. Okay. Um, dresser was utilized as a door to the bathroom. That's very concerning. You don't have much privacy, but we already know that the wells don't have any doors, so... Jose, in that sense, basically confirmed what we already knew as far as them not having no doors or no privacy. All right. Um, Jose said he slept in the basement. Kids' alleged playroom. Okay. That's where he said he slept. The couch in front of the basement door. Because um, locks was allegedly messed up or they couldn't find the key. Um, and all kids were... Always going in and out the basement door. So he said, so could, so my question is, if the kids were going in and out, because they're our subconscious, well, we already know Candace and Don has lied and told us numerous of stories. We know that they have told numerous of stories. Okay. Numerous, numerous. So we know the kids were able to go in and out the basement door. But you said there was a couch in front of the basement door. So if there was a couch in front of the basement door, were the kids able to push it out the way to still go in and out? Was the couch moved at some point in time while you was there? Was it moved where the kids could go in and out the basement door? Because you said they would go in and out the basement door, but they had a couch right there so they couldn't or... Or so Summer couldn't. So I'm, a, I'm I'm assuming that the couch was to stop them from going in and out the basement door. So were they still going in and out the basement door after the couch was there? Were they able to push it? That's a question I have for you, Jose. 
because um you didn't really emphasize on that as well okay um Hmm. And it will put her, when you speak of her wandering off and getting lost and y'all having to find her, you and Candace and Don and things of that nature, that puts her wandering off. It keeps that option, that theory still on the table, as well as an accident or somebody doing something to her on that property and then hiding the body. And it puts her wandering off and she got hurt and lost, wandered off. Okay, so the wandering off is still on the table. So that's basically, he's confirming that she roams and, and dips off. Okay. Jose verified that there was no real food being put inside the house. Only snacks by Don when he got paid. Um... So, Don would buy snacks, uh, like little dollar pizzas, little snacks from the dollar store, and then he would buy drinks and drugs. We already know that they have a drug problem and uh, a drinking problem. Um, so, Candace, so y'all would just be without food until Don grabbed the little things when he get paid? What would y'all do? So, y'all didn't, you did you not try to get no assistance? For your children because the oldest when they was in school so at some point did you not try to get any food stamps any type of assistance to feed your kids because I have boys and you have some boys and they can eat and girls can eat too but them little dollar pizzas and the stuff that y'all was getting at the Dollar Tree or whatever. That's not enough. That's gone like that. So, with that being said, Candace, why didn't you try to go get some type of assistance? Because whatever Don was doing wasn't enough for y'all. That's why the kids look malnourished and things of that nature because that wasn't enough. That's not enough to feed or feed. Fill up a household, especially when no one's really cooking in the house. Okay, so that's what I have to say about that. Um, Jose said that the, the house was dirty, there was bugs, and I'm assuming if the house is that dirty and what we saw, and they had bugs all in the dog food, then they had mice. If you got all that going on and all that filth, then you had mice. Let me um. Say disclaimer as well. This video is for news reporting. Okay. News reporting. And educational purposes. But yeah. So I'm assuming that they had. Mice. And you out there. You know what I'm saying. So there's field mice and things of that nature. So. If. There's roaches all in the. Dog food. Then. There has got to be. other rodents okay all over the house i'd be surprised if it's not so we already knew that the house was dirty so basically jose you verified that and like i said most of the stuff we already knew you just confirmed what we knew on some things some things is kind of unbelievable. Okay. Let's keep going. So, uh, he said Allie would get paid and buy the Wells kids food from Walmart. And this brings me back to Candace. Why didn't you try to go get any type of assistance? Because waiting on Don to get that little bit of food, that's not enough. And if it's true that your homegirl Allie having to get paid and go buy some food, food and and jose said real food then there's something wrong with that picture like nobody grandest you didn't try to encourage her to go get some type of assistance maybe food boxes i mean there's a lot of help out there if y'all if you would just went out there and tried to get it because it's about the children 
I mean, waiting on Dawn for some dollar pieces. I know them kids were starving. And this is why you don't have them today. I mean, come on now. What's really going on? Um, Jose said that Don knew he was um, there before he came home from Utah. Um, he said he had phone convos with him from Utah. So, is that true? Because, Jose, you said that Don kind of switched up on you a couple days after you being there. So, did you really have a conversation with Don on the phone while he was in Utah? Did he know you was really there with his wife and his children? Did he know that? Because any real man and Don seem like he have a little je jealous. We know he's a narcissist, but has a little jealous streak. So, he probably felt some type of way that you, <laughs> another man, was at his house. He probably felt some type of way. So, I question, did you really have those phone convos with him? Because you said you was confused because he acted like you didn't. So, it makes me question, did you really? All right. So, Jose said that um, Don got... Don was accusing Candy of sleeping with him. Then stated... Then stated... Candace stated that Jose was gay after a week of Don returning home. So, was Don got there, saw Jose, got a little jealous, started accusing Candace of sleeping with him. Then Candace had to make up the situation. Well, Jose is gay. Jose said he's not gay. Now, not saying that all gay men or all straight men don't wear makeup. But look like Jose had a little skin products on when I saw him. And I'm kind of getting a little vibe. Um, So, the jury is still out on that. The jury is still out. On if he is or if he's not. Um, Candace did say he liked chicks with X um, to Chris McDonald. So, like I said, you, you just don't know. <laughs> Everybody got their own version. You just don't know what to believe. And we don't jump on no side but the victim. So, in this case, Summer. And her brothers are the victims. With that being said, this is he said she said. She said that statement to Chris McDonald. She told her husband he's gay. That Jose was gay. But he slept with Allie. But then I see him on the third interview pre-recorded and he got makeup on so who knows who really knows like who really knows what I mean because some men don't feel comfortable coming out some maybe he's bisexual I don't know he's saying he's not but I'm gonna say I don't know that's what we're gonna say because I'm seeing conflicting things and hearing conflicting information. And we know Candace is a liar. And birds were feather flock together. You was there. And you said at first you were there for six months. How can you deal with being there in those conditions for six months and not try to escape faster? How? How can you be in that place and not try to get out of Dodge? That lets me know something kept you there. That you was okay with the situation at that moment. That you was okay with it. And I see Jose trying to disconnect himself from the wells. 
every time he talk, he try to act like he's different. But in our reality, y'all are similar than, than y'all think. Y'all have more in common. Y'all are alike. Because you keep trying to distance yourself. And y'all are alike. And that's just what I see. Okay? But, yeah. So, allegedly, Don was upset, you know. And we got some Candace saying he's gay. And then Allie sleeping with him. But just because you sleep. With the opposite sex don't mean you're not gay. People are, there is bisexuality out there. And some people are like, but so, who knows? Who really knows? And I don't, I can't say I believe everything that Jose said because I see lies. I see lies. So, it is what it is. Jose believes they lied to keep Don calm and told Don that he was gay to ease their mind. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, some people ain't gonna just jump out there and say, hey, I'm this. Nah. Alright, so the night that they fought, let's move on to that. Candace was on top of Don. That's what Jose said. He said it was a drunk fight. And that will go to what we've been saying from day one, that Donna and Candace both fight each other. And she's not a small girl, and she can defend herself. I think they both fight each other. And this goes to, like I said, what I've been saying, that the DV has been both ways. Okay? Uh, he said uh, Candace allegedly jumped on top of Donna because he hit her. And that's believable. I mean, I do believe that. I believe that... He hit her, she lunged on top of him, and they be duking it out. They have that love, that love-hate relationship where they get drunk, they fight each other, they make up, and they back to all right that next day. That's the life they've been living. This has been their life. So, this goes to what we've already been thinking and assuming, okay? What we have observed. Let me say that, observed. So, um, in that incident, Jose said he came upstairs. Don told Jose to leave. Jose said he refused because he was written from Candace. That goes back to my question earlier. If he was written from Candace, how much was you renting a room for? And how often was it every week you was paying for a room? Every two weeks? What was you paying? And... He said he refused to leave because Candace, <laughs> he was running room for Candace. But that's not Candace's property, that's Don's property. So that's what the issue is. That's Don's property. If he wants you gone, then you got to go. But technically, here in Tennessee, Don could evict him because Jose already been there. I'm assuming, well, the times are different. Went from six months to two months. But here in Tennessee, if you're there for 30 days, you have to be, if you've been living there more than 30 plus days, then you have to be evicted. You have to have 30 days to find you somewhere to go. So Don could evict Jose and get him off his property. But he wouldn't be, he couldn't make him leave right away unless there was a fight or a situation going on like that. But, a special circumstances, but he would have to um, he can evict Jose because he's been there 30 plus days. He can evict him, but he has to give him a certain amount of time to find a place to go. But that's not Candace's property, so I find that as not being true just because she said you can stay there. That's not her property. That's Don's. So if you say you got to go, you got to go. All right. So I just wanted to straighten that out. So yeah, so technically Don could evict could have could evicted Jose and he had 30 days to get up out of the property. Unless some special circumstance where there was a big blowout and then someone had to go because of some special circumstances, okay? 
But he's his defense, he's saying because he's a tenant of Candace. So then that goes to how much was you paying for the room and how often? It's just a question. Jose said Don had sex with a lady in the Wells house upstairs while Candy was sleep downstairs with Summer. How true is that? I don't know. Do they have they cheat on each other and do they cheat on each other? I'm pretty sure. But is Don bold enough to have a lady upstairs in the house knowing the jealous streak that we've seen that Candace got? I don't know. But don't believe everything you hear. And I never believe everything Jose said. See, people get confused because he talk good. He can talk real well. He seems very well educated. He can construct them words. He can talk, talk. And if you notice, Jose talks a lot about himself. Yeah, we caught that. Jose talks a lot about his self, his self, him, him, him. And he talk good. He talk better than those other people around him. So don't be fooled because someone talks good and talk a good game that they're being honest with you. Because that's not what I'm getting. See, I see through all of that. See, and Don and, and Jose confused a lot of people because he talks well. And he explains himself and he talks about himself. And he could probably talk some dirty draws off some women. Okay? With that being said... Don't let that confuse you because a slick talker is slick talking you for a reason. Okay. So who knows? Do I believe they cheated on each other? Yes. I believe they both slept around each other. They've been doing it. Especially when Don goes off on his binges. Yes. I believe they both dip off on each other. It's not one way. Not one way. They both do it. Um, but do I believe that he had a whole woman in there without a fight going on or a whole situation? Mm, I don't know about that. We'll take that with a grain of salt. That's just what Jose said. All right. So, allegedly Don threw a bottle in Jose's face. Candace called the police. Don and Jose never really fought or threw fist hands. And Don just threw a bottle at Jose and chipped his tooth. When he threw this ball at you, you just let him throw it? Were you scared of dying? Because if someone <laughs> throw a bottle to your face, your reaction is going to be, oh, it's going to go down. Oh, something about to happen right here. Like right now. Okay? So... Who knows if that's really true. Now, I do believe because Don did say he threw a bottle. So, I do believe that. I take that back. I believe that did happen because Don did confirm throwing a bottle on Chris McDonough's show. But, Jose. Hmm. No reaction to that? Jose and Don are both felons. They can't have weapons. Candace told police about gun in the Don in uh, the gun in Don's car. We know that, and that's why one of the reasons plus the DV between Don and Candace why he got arrested that night. I mean, because all of this stuff Jose is basically telling us we already know. we know this, and it makes me wonder, Jose, have you been sitting back and just watching all of this and you decide to come out nine months later Well, somebody find you and then you come out repeating everything that's out because we already know all of this. I'm just saying, we know all of this. All right. You said you stayed for six months, Jose. No urge to leave? I'm just saying, like, if the house is so nasty, it has bugs, I'm sure it has mice, your kids sleeping everywhere, trash everywhere, dishes piled up, 
all these bad things is going on. You're complaining. It's so horrible. It's has horrors. It's da 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 da. Why stay? You said you eventually start working a part time job. Why not go to a hotel? Why not leave? Why stay? Is it because you had nowhere else to go? Or did you fit right in? Because you was throwing them drinks back too? Chilling? But you was there. And no matter how, say, how hard you try to separate yourself from the wells, those six months, or two months, whichever one is the truth. Who knows? Because I don't believe none of y'all. I don't believe nobody. But why not leave? Why stay in those conditions? Unless you was okay. I'm just saying. That it, it's look, it looks crazy to me. Um, Jose said he stayed three days after the domestic violence situation. Um, he said he was not put out. That's not true. Um, and he said the only reason why he wants to leave was because he knew that Candace was going to let him back in. Well, that's Don's property. They're married. Candace could leave. She has plenty of opportunity to leave. They're not going to leave each other. That's what they do. Okay. But Don, uh, Jose wants us to know that he was not put off the property. Okay. He wasn't kicked out. And he was tired of things, how things was going. If you was there for six months or two months, you should have been tired. You should have been. Soon you walked in that door, you should have turned right around. I got to find someplace else to go. Because you keep saying in these interviews, I didn't have to be there. I could have left for any time. Well, why didn't you leave? Why stay? That's what I don't understand. Why stay? You were so amazed that the house is this and that and this and that was going on in the house. Why stay? That's what I'm saying. Why stay in those conditions? That's interesting. So, Jose went to North Carolina, not South Carolina, and he met a woman and stayed with her interesting so are you the guy that hops from woman to woman and stay with them are you contributing because i really don't think you was paying candace i don't think jose was paying candace y'all i just don't believe he was paying her he said he was right in the room and also how much and how often was you paying her because I don't believe he was renting a room. Jose told us that Summer loved Mountain Dew and she loved to play outside. We know those things already. But one thing, only one thing that he gave us more emphasis on who Summer was. That's the only thing that I liked about it. Everything else seems so fake. I keep been on YouTube watching and lurking and putting his experience in, mixing it to what other videos is out here on the YouTube streets. I don't believe everything that Jose says. No. Don took showers with the kids in summer, said Jose. We already knew that. But Jose said he confronted Don and Don just stopped taking showers with summer. Do y'all really believe that with Don's narcissistic behavior? No. That's what I'm saying. We can't believe everything that Jose said. He hit you in the mouth with a bottle. You didn't beat his ass. So you're going to walk up to this man and say, don't take a shower with your daughter. It's inappropriate. And he just going to comply? No. I don't believe that either. A lot of stuff I do not believe. Okay? <sighs> Interesting. So he said after they got into that, he stopped chatting with Summer. 
We don't believe that. I don't even believe Jose approached him. I believe he sat there and he saw what was going on and he said nothing. I believe Jose sat right there, saw all the dysfunctional, messed up things going on at home. And I believe Jose didn't do one damn thing about it. That's what I believe. He wants to put himself out there like he's this savior or, or like... He said this, he did this, he stopped this. He wants to make yourself look good and better. And that's where you mess up at. You should have just came out, said this is what I saw, 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 and bye. Didn't do no more interviews. But you're changing things in your story. You're switching things around. You're trying to put... Make yourself look better in this situation. And that creates lies and false narrative and a, a fake story. Because in our reality, I don't believe you did a damn thing to help those kids. I don't think you did a damn thing to save those kids. And I don't really think that you're no different than Candice and Don. I don't think you're no different than them. I don't. Not not by long shot. Um, Jose say he never met Jody Sue or her guy. He never met Don's older kids. Um, he said that Don was sleeping with druggies in the home. Once again, he revealed that Summer went or ran off plenty of times where they had to go find her behind homes, um, down driveways. So, once again, Summer, that keeps the theory of her wandering off, getting lost or hurt on the table, as well as something happened to her on that property or somebody doing something to her on that property and discarding her. Jose said that Candace and Grandis was really scared of Don. I believe there was some a little fear on both parts, some fear. Um, he said some would hide in the fridge outside in Grandis campus bathroom. Um, so he's giving us, like I said, he gives us more on what Summer liked to do, where she liked to play at, um, what was her hiding spots at. That's what I do like and. That's the only thing that I like about this interview is that he gave us more emphasis on who Summer was. All the other stuff, I think it's bullshit, but he gave us a lot of emphasis, more, I want to say a lot, more than what we got from her parents on her plane, liking to run in the fridge and hide in the my grandma camper um, bathroom. He said she liked to swing and play outdoors. We knew that. Jose said she didn't know how to be clean, brush teeth, but had a good heart. Well, we know that because look at her mom. Um, They don't teach her. A child has to be taught certain things and groomed. And if she's not taught to wash or brush your teeth and your face and come in here and things of that nature, I mean, look at Candace, for Christ's sakes. She's not going to know what to do. Jose said that the meal jug photo was the only time that she had on nice clothes. That lets me know that Jose, once again, has been all over YouTube. And he says it, that he's still trying to catch up. My thing is, why are you trying to catch up what's going on on YouTube when you're just supposed to only be speaking of your experience, what you saw and what you observed, and does that help what you can contribute to help find Summer? Who was she? Who was this beautiful little girl? What can you give us? That's what it was supposed to be about. Not you trying to catch up with this video, that video. No. It wasn't supposed to be that. Why? When this is supposed to be your story of your experience at the Wells. I'm just saying, 
But he said that was the only time she had on nice clothes. And he said she likes to be naked. She likes to, she didn't like clothes. And that's a lot of kids. I have one son, one of my boys, that does not like clothes. And he's someone's age. He don't. He rather just walk around his underwear at home. He's just free. Okay? He's free. He's been like that since he was a baby. He would take him off when he was a baby. Um. And he also said that she would fall asleep on anything. Basically saying the milk joke video, she really could been sleeping and not hurt or deceased. That's interesting. I find it hard to sleep on some cold milk, but maybe someone could do that. Okay? I don't know. Because it's hard to tell something from a still photo. Um, Jose said that Candace never walked Summer back and forth to Granny's camper. He said that's a lie. Um, so basically he's saying, you know, Candace said, oh, I took Summer to the house and told the boys to watch her. We already know Candace was lying. She's not the type of mother that's daunting on her children. She's not the type of mother that watches her children. She's not that type of mother. So we already knew that. So Jose just confirmed that Candace don't do that. Then some will go back and forth. Some will be all over that property on her own, doing her own little thing. She a free spirit. That was what Summer was doing. Okay? We already know that. They didn't watch her. They didn't care about those children like that. They didn't watch them like that. So, Summer was just doing her own thing. So, I agree. I do not believe that Candace walked Summer nowhere, no back and forth. No, we don't believe that. And that's what Jose said. He said that's a lie. He said the her dogs was uh, vicious. He said they tried to attack him. And they had to tell the dogs to get, get off of him. And Jose himself is trying to debunk the stranger abduction, which we've already debunked in the beginning. Um, he said no one could sneak up on the property. The dogs was always there. And also that debunks what Don said about the dog that's just disappearing. Okay. At the, the right time, the stars aligned and it just disappeared at the perfect time. At the right time for someone to be abducted. Yeah. We never believed that the dogs left the property. Um, and Jose is basically saying that he don't believe that the stranger got her. And he said the dogs never left and they was vicious now we know there are puppies up there but he said when he was there and we saw there was bigger dogs there was all kind of dogs and everybody else they pretty much went up there experienced seeing the dogs run up to them so we're gonna stick to what we see and what we hear and dogs on that property and they didn't vanish okay so I would give Jose the the dog situation because yeah we saw the dogs there. Jose said Candace took the kids to doctor's appointments. Did she really? Because uh, the doctors that she took them to will probably notify Child Protective Service if she took them to the doctor. Because they would see the malnutrition. They would see that the kids was not really cared for. So if she took them to the doctors, if I really believe that, which I don't, if she really regularly did that, they would have called CPS. Um, and then she took them to the doctors, but no dentist. 
She took them to doctor's appointments, but no dentist appointments. Did she ever take them to the dentist? Because it don't look like she took them to the dentist, Jose. So I don't know if I believe that I think he's basically trying to make her look better and what she is on this first interview. The second and third, his demeanor changes concerns Candace. His demeanor changes. And he kind of bashes her. But the first one, he's protecting her. Or he's like supporting her and he's supporting Allie. Y'all just notice the different chain. That's why I said he's it's not it's not the whole truth. This is not like he's not telling the truth. Completely the truth. I noticed the changes. Okay. But yeah, so he basically trying to say, Oh, she took the kids to the doctor. Mm, they would have noticed the malnutrition that the kids didn't look too good. They would either have a talk with her or they would just report her. And try to work on things with her. Um, and then you would take them to the doctor. And the doctor would automatically be like, hey, they need to go to the dentist. So, I don't know if I believe it. Because that's going to bring red flags to them. Like, hey, they don't, they, don't just, they don't just need a doctor and insure. They need a dentist. And they need to be seen regularly. So, I don't know if I believe that, y'all. I don't, I don't know. I don't really believe it. I don't believe she took them kids regularly to the doctor. I don't believe she took them to the dentist. By what I see, I don't believe she regularly took them anywhere. With... Okay, yeah, I already addressed that. We're almost done here. I'm sorry this video is so long. But it was so much I want to get through on this five-hour live. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm almost done. Okay, so Jose slept with Allie. He said he was drunk. And he said he wasn't ready for no relationships. They knew it. Um. And then my thing is, okay, y'all slept together where? At the house where there's no doors, where kids is all around the house? Hmm. Kind of inappropriate, don't you think, Jose? The whole house is inappropriate. The whole house. The whole house. So Jose also said that Hunter lost his virginity to Candace and... They wanted Jose not to say anything to Allie about it. And it's supposed to have been allegedly one time. <sighs> if this is true, I don't believe it was one time thing. And Jose, what person, that's why I said you just like them. Because if you wasn't like them, and you, they told you that they slept together, not to tell Allie, which is his mother, and you didn't, and you didn't report it, you're just as bad as them. You saw everything Summer and those boys went through, you didn't report it. You knew Candace was sleeping with Hunter, allegedly. You didn't do anything about it, you didn't report it, and you didn't tell Allie. So you're just, you're at the bottom of the barrel with those parents that mistreated the kids. You're no different than Don. You're no different than Candace, Allie. You're no better than them because you sat there and whether you was scared to get put out, right is right. And if it was no issue for you just up and go somewhere, then you shouldn't have never been scared to get put out. You should have did the right thing. If kids mean so much to you. So, that goes back to me saying, you're no different. You sat there and you watched the abuse. You knew that they was, she was giving him alcohol and vape. You knew that. You knew the cigarette thing, right? 
to confirm the liquor and sex to Hunter from Candace. You confirmed it. So you was aware and you did nothing. You didn't report it. You didn't tell Allie about her sleeping with her son. He's underage. What if she would have got pregnant? Again, let me say this. Jose, I don't believe nothing that comes out of his mouth. That was good insight on Summer that he gave us about her hiding spots and things she liked to do. Great. Thank you. But everything else, I think it's fabricated BS and lies and things he's watched and heard on YouTube. Because what kind of real man sits still and watch all this go on? You said you didn't mind you could have slept in a tent somewhere so why didn't you why didn't you why did you sit there and allow all this to go on and not do nothing not say nothing not nothing not call cps not call nothing you didn't do nothing okay so since you did nothing that makes you just like them and you was drinking a little bit too you said a little bit you try to minimize it but you was drinking and partying too. Jose, that's what I believe. That you was kicking it with the with, with with them. Just like them. You was kicking it too. I do believe that. Yes. And you never said nothing because you just sat there and watched it, but you never did nothing. You give me those vibes that you just the onlooker. That you'll sit there and just saw all this going on and want to talk about it later on down the line. But trying to minimize your behavior. Things you was involved in. But did nothing to help those kids. So yeah, you're not the savior. You're, you're a person that sat in there like everyone else. And watched those kids go through that. And live like that. And you sat in there and lived like that too. For whether it was two months, six months. You sat in there and you lived like that too. So yeah, you're not you're not a different. But that's pretty much y'all what I have to say about this Jose interview. Um the first one, the second and third one, he switches and changes. So this is gonna be the only time I really break discuss what he said. Because yeah, his story switches after this from six months to two months and all these different type of things and <sighs> Just more lies. So, who's going to jump out next? I'm hoping it's the police with handcuffs to lock somebody up. Because it's time for people, somebody to go to jail. It's, 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 I'm ready for this to be over with. I want justice for summer. And I'm tired of people coming out, not really knowing nothing, not being honest. Like, if y'all going to come out, Come out and be honest with your flaws, whatever. If you was involved with something and if you can't be real about what you did and you got to lie, don't come out. Just stay where you was at. Don't come out. If you're going to come out and lie, don't come out. But if you're going to come out, be real about your environment, whatever, your, your fuck ups, if you... You know, I was drinking too much or you didn't do this, do that. Just be real about it. And don't switch up. Don't change your story. Because the second, third interview, he talked about how he's trying to catch up. And his story changes to what he's seeing and watching on YouTube. And that's not the truth. That's not the truth. That's not the truth and that's not real. Real... Real is being real from day one. You don't, truth don't change. It don't switch. It don't turn. It don't go from six months to two months. 
It don't change. This your girl, Queen. I love you guys. I'm out once again. Disclaimer, this is video is for educational purposes and news reporting. Sorry this video is an hour long, but I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow morning.